everybody, welcome back. We're going to carry on today with part 7 of the Accordion Keepsake Junk Journal. Um, if you are just are new to my channel, you can go to the playlist. I've started a playlist just for this project, and I will go over parts 1 through 6. Um, this is, I think, now going to be an 8-part, so we'll have one more um, part I'll have to film in the next couple of days. So let's just get started. Um, I've got this panel on the front side and then I'm not going to do anything on the back and then we're going to complete this panel and that's going to leave two more panels which will be part eight. So let's just jump in and what I'm having to do guys unfortunately I know you like to watch the process but because of the situation here I've just had to go ahead and do everything in advance just to make this a little bit quicker. Um, I will tell you the dimensions, um, but it's you know really straightforward. You can figure it out. So what I'm going to do here is I've decided just to do a side pocket here with a tag, and this little piece measures two and a quarter by two and a half, and I've rounded the edges, and I'm just going to distress this a little bit more. And then we'll get that down, and I've made a little tag to go inside of it. Um, I hope you guys are well, and I hope you've enjoyed this little project. As I said, we'll have one more part to complete this with. And I've just seen, uh, what I did was I backed some of the paper onto cardstock just to give it a little more stability. Okay, so I've just inked that up, and uh, I've got one of these little sayings. This is from Angela Kerr's Wildflower Kit. I'm just going to ink around that and the butterflies. Now, I had considered just turning that into another pocket, but I just, in the end, decided I wanted to just have the the butterflies floating around um, on the page because this is just something that's going to sit on my shelf or I may end up making a tiny box for this um, but it will eventually end up in my studio. Sorry if I'm out of frame there guys. Ugh. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down, and then I can determine where to put that butterfly because I don't want it hanging over the edge. Okie dokie. So he should fit here. Again, i got to make sure the placement's right so it doesn't interfere with closing the journal and then this tiny one down here okay and then I made a little tiny tag with a tab and this is two inches by two and a quarter and if all is well, this will fit in. That should slide right in there, which is what I wanted. Yes. <laughs> Great. Because sometimes I'm not, I get a bit sloppy with my glue. Okay, so that is how that looks. I'm very happy with that. And then when it's closed, I like the I, the little tab being out. And I might even look for a phrase to go on that bit cuz see on the back of that I've left it so I can add a little bit of writing. Cuz if I find a really nice um 
quote or maybe there's a Bible scripture that I want to add to it. I just wanted this to be kind of a little inspirational keepsake. Alright, so yeah, I might put a little phrase there. I might come back with an eyelet and a charm. I don't know. Um, it's it's going to be a work in pro progress, I think. Um, but I like the way those complement each other. Because you've got all the neutrals here, and I think it was nice to have something a little bit that stood out a bit more on that one. Okay, so let's jump over to this one. Um, nothing overly exciting on this one. I have decided to just do a little tuck spot that will flip open, and I can do some private journaling in there. And this is just, again, out of my coordinating paper. And... This piece measures two and a half by two and a half. I folded it and just rounded all the corners. And so I'm just going to get this down and So this is just uh, in my stash, a little journaling card. Let me ink the back of that a little bit. And again, just other little bits and pieces. Just to add something. This says memories on it. This was actually a... Um, one of the boo-boo printouts. Um, my printer was running out of ink and I didn't realize it until it was halfway through the print and that so they came out really soft peach but I thought well I'm not gonna waste them so I've just hung on to them and actually they complemented this really well <laughs> so you know sometimes these things do end up working out so this one I can already see at some point I'm going to want to add some kind of bling. I think it's a bit plain here. But I don't know, maybe a couple of little pearls or something on that just to spruce that up. I don't think I've got anything handy here, guys. Uh, fortunately, I don't. So as I said, when I do the final flip through, you'll probably see a few things I've, I'm going to add to this. But... I just knew it had been a while since our last part, and I wanted to get this out so you guys could see how it's it's coming along. So we've got that little place there that I can add um, another quote. And then again on the back here. So yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll add some pearls to this and then I think I'm going to add some kind of little lace so that this is poking out above the top. I, I want it to be, um, you know, when you're looking at it. And, and here I'm going to go with an eyelet, probably a bulb pin and some kind of a charm. The reason I'm not doing that today, guys, I um, haven't been able to find any charms that are vintage looking. Um, because we're, we're kind of restricted. We're very remote um, in this location. So when I did have a trip into the Hobby Lobby a couple weeks ago, I couldn't find anything I really liked. So um, I'll just have to hold off on that until I can either get to my stash or find something along the way that's suitable. So there you go, guys. I will be back very soon with the final portion of this and uh, I hope you guys are all well. Let me know in the comments what you think about this uh, project. Are you doing one yourself or are you just enjoying following along? Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!